I thought I was uh, a little overdue, so I thought I'd go ahead and just pop an update video into the Moto Build series. Uh, I have done a whole bunch more to the trailer and failed to document some of it, so I wanted to go back and just kind of get some of it in, in the books, as it were. So, here is the Harbor Freight U.S. General Mechanics Tool Cart, I believe they call it. Uh, you can find it on their site or in their stores, and it comes in various colors, a lot of which are very moto-friendly. So they have like a KTM Orange, Kawasaki Green, Honda Red, uh, etc. Uh, and of course the Yamaha Blue. But the theme for my um, trailer has been black and gray, so I went with the black. Uh, and as you can see, it uh, fits in here nicely. What I did was I went ahead and lag bolted some X-Track into the chassis. of the tool cart which works because there's a relief right here between the uh, shelves and the side of the cart so that worked wonderfully then i put on these ratchet straps which are rated at 660 pounds each and there are three of them on each side so we have a total of six ratchet straps holding that in needless to say that is part of the trailer and that is going nowhere until i tell it to which is nice. But the nice thing about this is that I can unclick those ratchet straps and then roll this toolbox right out of here if I want to on a whim. So there it is, kind of nestled into the corner there. You can see the door. It's nice and out of the way. I've got perfect clearance here in and out of the door. And uh, it just uh, tucked in there just really nice. So I'm really glad with the way, or happy with the way that came out. Um, it does have the locking drawers so that when I'm underway, if I want the extra peace of mind, I can lock the drawers down. Um, honestly, not really needed though because the drawers themselves, even when unlocked, require you to depress to the left in order to open them. So, uh, really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, the ball bearing slides on the toolbox are super smooth and easy. Uh, for a quote-unquote budget toolbox, this thing has actually worked out fantastic for this use case scenario. And I'm really glad uh, that it's uh, just snuggled right in here. So, got all my routine stuff here. Uh, you know, adjustment pump for my air shocks. Uh, you know, spoke, torque wrench, tire irons, various cables, etc. Then I have my screwdrivers, hand tools, various wrenches. Sockets, extensions, torque wrenches, various hand tools, gloves, full bolt packs, various chemicals and zip ties and things like that. Spare parts, levers, oil filters, brake bolts, uh, rotor bolts, I should say, um, levers, grips, like all the seals and bearings that you might need and then of course air filters rear fenders spare tubes spare jug of oil just tuck that in there um all those things that we need so that when boy wonder and i go to an off-road event there is absolutely nothing that should be able to derail our good time within reason as far as uh, being able to fix stuff in the parking lot or the campground so there it is and of course i got the magnetic labels on the drawers which are nice because you can move those if you end up reorganizing your box versus using a label machine, which I've done in the past. So that's pretty much it. I kept it kind of clean on the outside with the exception of that E4 Adventure Film sticker. Thank you, Bike Graphics. And then, of course, under the lid, stickered it all up just in the grand tradition that uh, I think everybody pretty much has in the moto world. So anywho, there's the toolbox update for the Moto Build series. If you're doing a similar project, I wish you well and uh, good luck on your project. Thanks for watching.